Hey friends, welcome back. Uh, if this is your first time here, I'm Dr. Rachel Fuentes and I am a veterinarian. And today I wanted to start a, another small mini series where I kind of give you the quick and dirty rundown about some of the diseases that so we vaccinate Today against. we are going to start with distemper. Now, distemper is something you may have heard before. It's something that most veterinarians will vaccinate for, and we're just going to learn a little bit about it. How do dogs get distemper? Distemper is transmitted in the air. It's aerosolized. So just about anywhere, um, you know, that there are animals. So any dog parks, uh, pet stores, even just walking down the street. Um, again, it's just in the so air. So who gets distemper? Most commonly, it's puppies. You have, there are two main groups. The biggest one, the most common one, is puppies that are less than about three months old. And the second sect is much older pets, um, and it is affecting their pads. Um, but really today I'm going to talk about the one that the puppies, um, Sorry. well, there are three main organ systems that are affected when it comes to distemper. And the first one is the GI tract. Uh, so signs like, uh, soft stool diarrhea, uh, anorexia, inappetence, uh, vomiting, listlessness, those kinds of things. Uh, the second organ system that's typically affected is the respiratory system. So coughing, uh, shortness of breath, those kinds of signs. And third is the CNS or the central nervous system. And those are signs like head tilts or circling or things like seizures. So what's the prognosis for distemper? Um, unfortunately, for the vast majority of our pets, it's not very good. Um, most animals that suffer from distemper, unfortunately, do succumb to it. Um, there are some that can be treated and that can kind of bounce back uh, with appropriate and aggressive supportive care. And they will have built up at that point a lifetime immunity to distemper. So uh, it is possible to survive distemper. It's just not um, not highly likely. So the distemper vaccine, um, I call it the distemper vaccine for obvious reasons. Sometimes people call it a DA2PP or a five in one or a booster shot. And that's kind of all the same thing. Distemper is usually mixed in a combination vaccine, when, especially when we give it to our puppies. And that's where that DA2PP or that five in one come from. And with our puppies, since we're giving it as a series, Again, that's where we get the booster part of it. So they're all the same thing. They all mean the same vaccine. Uh, that vaccine is one that after it's been given appropriately as a puppy and as a series, at that next visit, when you get that one year vaccine or you know, are at your one year exam, that vaccine then is good for three years. So thankfully, there's been enough research out there and enough uh, evidence shown that these vaccines are lasting much longer than we thought originally. And the standard of care now is to begin to put more time there, which is a great change in the medical So field. do I recommend this vaccine? Do I recommend distemper? Absolutely. It is part of the core vaccinations that are recommended. Uh, it is something that unfortunately is a, a typically fatal disease and we can prevent it pretty easily. And I think that it is good medicine to practice to give it to the appropriate patients, such as puppies and adults as needed. So just to wrap it all up, the quick and dirty of it is Distemper, what is it? It's a virus. It is in the air, and that's how it's transmitted. Those at risk most are our puppies, our really young animals. Um, signs can include things from the GI tract, the respiratory tract, or even the nervous system. Um, and then as far as treatment, unfortunately, supportive care is what we've got. This is one of those diseases that is... Um, not so great on the prognostic scale. So hit like, hit subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will see you next time. Bye.